looking good. Got about 200 more of those to pot up. Okay. Oh yeah. So 200 more hybrids to pot up. So those are all hybrids. Hybrids. Those are hybrids. I did these this past weekend. Those are all one gallon hybrids. Growing them on locally grown here on Salt Spring Island. And um, over here, these are hybrids. So we got about six, one, two, three, four, five. Actually, we have seven flats left. One, two, one, two, three, four, seven flats left. Seven flats left. That's 32 up. per flat, so you can figure that out. Wow. And so these are yeah. hybrids, and then these ones here are just tractor carpets for Tunai. And all of these have to be stepped up into one gallon pots. Yeah. These ones here are all tracky carpets for Tunai, uh, Salt Spring Island. These ones here are Salt Spring Island. Yep. Those ones are Razorback. Those are the Razorbacks. These are from Arkansas, Origin, Arkansas. So a slightly cooler growing zone. Hardier. And uh, hardier. And there's some uh, Salt Spring Island tracky carpets for Tunai. Up here, these are Salt Spring Island tracky carpets for Tunai. And Actually, those are going to be going into five gallon pots. Yeah, all, yeah, all, all these are going to go those pot. up there. Those are from the Netherlands, Big. a lot of those ones from Zeeland, Netherlands. And over here, folks, are all Razorback. These are all Razorback from Arkansas. And they're all ready to go into five gallons. The thing is, um, these are rooted into the ground. stay out in our nursery year round and the only thing we do is mulch the pots with leaves and mm -hmm. the tops of the palms are fully exposed mm -hmm. so at this time of the year Wendy and I do a lot of watering we're in the dry season and uh, we're down here watering every day or two so mm -hmm. and they're looking good everything's looking oh, yeah. really healthy really nice Wendy did some major organization of this nursery Everything is organized. Otherwise, I would have nothing organized. Signs. <laughs> so, anyway, mm -hmm. folks, if you need a one gallon palm tree and you're on mm -hmm. Salt Spring Island, contact us. Wendy, yeah. knows, Wendy knows all about the palm trees here. Banana Joe at telus.net. And yeah. we have a lot more in the greenhouse to come out and pot oh, up. Yeah. So I'm going to be a busy boy this weekend. This time of the year, we are busy. We are busy. Palm trees. Yeah. But we like it. We do. Knees. Actually, the Arkansas have to clean them up. These are and they'll be moving next to those ones, the hybrids. And remember folks, locally grown palms are much hardier than the imports you get from the Anything from Florida yeah. is not gonna be as cold hardy as these ones that are grown this far north. That's right. Never ever lost a palm tree from cold here. Uh, any Trachycarpus yeah. palm, I've never had them damaged and I've never had them killed by cold yeah. on Salt Spring Island. So, and we have a lot of them in the ground. I mean, look around. Oh. You see some of oh, our seed grown totally. ones are all over the place, right? Yeah, they lots are. Of, lots of palms. This trees. is our lower garden. Um, yeah. This is There's actually the, all over the, place. the nursery garden. It's quite beautiful. So, yeah, we have a lot of palms here. Um, and we have um, different varieties hybrids, winsome palms, carpus fortunis. Um, yeah, and Joe has some specialty palms, which he doesn't sell. Uh, yeah, so there's lots. There's lots of palms growing here. This is sort of the forest jungle here. The forest garden. Um, yeah, it's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Love, love this weather. And we've been getting some rain, so that's good. Well, we had rain when about uh, last oh, weekend, didn't we? One, yeah, we had one really day good. We had rain. Still yeah. wasn't enough, though. We need no. more. Now we're back to watering again. Beautiful.